Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to Stickman Reads! We got a great story for you today, and it's about a very scary fish. Did you know that there is a fish that Eddie. lives super, super far down in the ocean? Eddie. So far down that it's dark, and it has its own flashlight? And it keeps on for 25 years. And it lives for a very long time. It's called an angler fish. Can you say dun dun dun? The sea devil fish. Sea devil. Yep. It's called dun, angler fish. Dun. The sea devil of the deep. Dun. And we think you guys are going to love it today. It's something that's going to be really neat to learn about. And it's written by Elaine Alexander, my illustrated by Fiona Fogg. This is my friend. And we've got extra friends reading this along is with us today. Friend. Angler fish. The sea devil of the deep. Ooh, just reading it already gives me the chill bumps, and I love this first page, parents. You can point this out, this page before the title. It's got this little tiny light, and it makes your, your kiddos very curious. Anglerfish. Look at those sharp teeth. I wonder if it goes to the dentist. <coughs> far, far below the ocean surface, and where no trace of sunlight can reach, <laughs> anglerfish makes her home. She glides slowly through the dark water, always on the hunt. Her jaw protrudes, which is a big fancy word for sticks out, bearing razor sharp teeth. She is a fearsome creature. She is the sea devil of the deep. Anglerfish did not always reside or live in shadow. Her life began as a tiny egg on the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. As a baby fish, or a fry, which is what they call baby fish. Isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> when we think of a fry, we think of like... A, a chicken nuggets and fries. Chicken nuggets and fries, but baby fish are called fries. As a baby fish or a fry, she floated gently in the light and they, feasted on are plankton. Baby fries. Baby fries. That's right, those are the, well, the fries. Where's her, and the where's her flashlight? Near the surface, danger lurked everywhere. Fishing nets and hungry predators prowl the waters. Yeah, you can say, oh no. He's running away, try, or not running, <laughs> swimming away from, from this, the bird and this, this fish right here and the fishing nets. That little baby fry is trying to get away. Say, swim, fry, swim. Swim, fry, swim. Maybe we should call her Fry. Maybe her name should be Fry. Hmm. One, two, three years passed. Anglerfish grew. Her torso, or her, her upper body, rounded and her fins lengthened. When her fishing rod sprouted from her forehead, anglerfish began her descent into and deeper no, no, water. No, no, no. Yeah, it's showing, it's showing how the fry, how the baby anglerfish is growing. And look, that's when it starts sprouting the little flashlight from its forehead. Oh, wow. That's cool. Halfway there, where streaks of sunlight still teased their, their way through the gray, gray-green ocean, anglerfish wobbled in the water. Her cousin, monkfish, swept by. Monkfish's brow, broad brown green body glistened and his mouth gaped in the murky sea. Gaped. Do you know what that word gaped means? Yeah, it, it means, means wide open. Curl. Kiss your friend. Huh. Fishing boats come trawling. Engines churn as they drag a net, scooping whatever's in its path. Anglerfish dodges, diving even deeper, until sunlight is only a memory. Her dark skin is an effective camouflage, allowing her to blend into her surroundings. Look, I love this picture because it's showing the big fishing net, catching all these fish, but anglerfish is able to swim away just in time to avoid being caught. And now it's heading into deeper water. Love this picture. The illustrations are so cool. Dark as midnight, anglerfish makes her own light. A tiny bioluminescent. Can you say it with me again? Bioluminescent bio lure glo glows at the tip of a thin, pointed fin that grows between her eyes. She glides alone, fierce, hungry, patient. Can you guys go like this? Pretend like you have a bioluminescent fin sticking out of your forehead. With a waggle of her tail, she's buried in mud and sand dangling the glowing orb like her very own fishing pole. Anglerfish waits for a fish, a shrimp, or maybe even a tiny crab to take the bait. Oh look, I love this picture. You see that? He's buried super, super she. deep. Super, oh she, yeah, that's right. She's super, super deep. Can you say bye, Judah? 
Bye, Kaden. The anglerfish is buried deep in the mud, and what do you think she's waiting for? A crab. Shadows shift. She wiggles her lure, hoping prey will mistake her light for a tasty morsel. A crab shuffles closer. Anglerfish's stomach distends. Her flexible jaw extends, and <sighs> she swallows her meal whole. It's only a morsel, but food is scarce in the midnight zone. That's where the anglerfish lives. The anglerfish can't afford to be picky. The cloud of sand settles. Anglerfish isn't alone anymore. A tiny male anglerfish circles, homing in on her back. Closer, closer still, then a pinch as he latches onto her tough skin. Look, he bit her! And did you see that the, 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 the girl anglerfish is way bigger than the boy? Yeah. I love, you should point things out as you read, parents. Point those things out for your, for your kiddos that they might otherwise miss. With a flick of her tail, anglerfish swims on, carrying the tiny male's body through the dark. A stowaway on her solitary journey, or her, her lonely journey, he's being absorbed into her body. Absorbed means to take in. So the male anglerfish, the boy, is being sucked into her body. Anglerfish will all will carry him with her always. There is there is theirs is a union necessary for survival. That is way bigger than him. Yeah, that little I think it's like a it looks like a like an underwater super deep eel. Anglerfish is ready now. Her most important work begins. She releases fertilized eggs, baby eggs, too many to count. They stick together. A thin protective gel binds them on their journey. The mass of spawn, or their laying of eggs, the mass of spawn rises up through the ocean higher and higher until it is out of sight. Here's the last page. Far, far below the ocean's surface, where no trace of sunlight can reach, in the darkest, most sparsely inhabited place. That means a place where barely anything lives. It's mostly spar most sparsely inhabited place in the sea. Anglerfish is alone. Parents, the back matter of this book is fantastic. It's got all kinds of uh, pictures and, and, and uh, um, 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 diagrams of the different places of the ocean. And it's got information oh, about... Fish. There's anglerfish. It has a little bit of information. The author, um, again, was uh, Elaine Alexander. Did a great job of listing adaptations or ways where um, um, animals can, um, can help uh, create ways that they can survive better. And it's got ways that anglerfish hunt and how they get together to make baby anglerfish. Rich, rich back matter. It's a plethora. You won't, you won't, this won't be, this won't be a book you read just once. You'll read it again and again. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed Anglerfish, the Sea Devil of the Deep. And maybe you'll avoid going swimming in super dark places because you wouldn't want to run into one of these. You guys take care. Like and subscribe our channel because we'll have more great books headed your way. Check us out. Take care.